Good morning, this is TJ Burkett here at the Delaware County Fairgrounds in Delaware, Ohio. I'm here to talk to Greg Kuhn, track consultant, who's here to maintain the beautiful half-mile clay surface. Then I'm a track superintendent at a county fair. How long before the fair week starts do I begin getting my track ready for the races? Ideally, you'd like to be able to start about a month ahead, and hopefully you could commandeer a grader from the town or the county that you're operating in. I'm on a limited budget, Greg. Uh, what equipment do I absolutely need to maintain the track properly? You've got to have some, some way to create cushion, and you've got to have some way to grade it. Every day, uh, probably somewhere between a golf ball and a baseball size amount of material works down the track just from all the activity. And you need a way to pull that back up on the racetrack, and you need a way to maintain a cushion, some kind of controlled depth cutting device like a track conditioner. Those, that and the water truck, those would be the three most important things. This is just a drag-along harrow, a triangle-shaped drag-along harrow. No specially hardened teeth or carbide tips. It's an old-fashioned drag harrow. And I just love lose, using them on a clay racetrack. I have them down in Lexington as well. Uh, speaking of waters, uh, how often should, should one water and when should they do it? The track should be uh, moist enough that when you take a handful of it and squeeze it, and let go of it, it holds its own shape like a snowball would. You've been in the business quite a while. What are some common mistakes that you see county fair track conditioners make? I think just <clears throat> for lack of the ability to, to grade, the rail tendence has a tendency to flatten out. Uh, an inch or more of material that piles up at the pylons and solidifies won't allow you to harrow the hoof prints out. It carries the harrow high right against the pylons and everybody complains about a cuppy surface or a, a cow path where we can't get rid of the hoof prints. And that's usually a direct result of not having graded enough. And say it does rain during fair week, uh, what should I do to, make the, to get the track ready to race again? Well, if, uh, if you've kind of been paying attention and you have either a clay track with, you, had, you need to have sand on it. Uh, the analogy is you've never been on a slippery beach. So if you use a sand cushion, it tends to give the horses a purchase when it gets wet. If you have a stone dust cushion, um, the, <clears throat> the chips, the larger particles, say as big as, half as big as an eraser on a pencil, those are what will give you the grit and the purchase. And the horses tend to smash that all into powder. The powder gets very slippery. So you want to have the cushion ready for rain. And by that, I mean it has a little grit to it. Trying to add a cushion and keep it even, that's the biggest concern. Really don't want enough cushion that they're fumbling in it. On a day like today with this caliber of horse, you're trying to have enough cushion to take the sting out of it and make it live for them. When is a good time to, to seal a track? Anytime you think rain's coming, especially near the fair. Um, during the course of the year, you'd want to, if you know rain's coming, you'd want to kind of knock the cushion down with a light screen. And then uh, during the fair or any important event, it'd be best to roll it with truck tires. How do I seal the track? The best way is with empty trucks. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, the rollers that you rent, the drum rollers, the vibratory rollers, they're usually five, six, seven feet wide. And uh, you know, the truck tires are six, eight inches wide. And they have a tendency to, you just start at the rail and then just pull out the width of the tires. And in 30 minutes with a couple of trucks, you can roll a half mile track pretty tight. Uh, what do I do if my track is too deep? If your track's too deep, you either gotta, you gotta grade it off, you gotta find the bottom. Uh, you can roll it with trucks, you can compact it, it'll get shiny hard and the minute a horse hits it, it'll break away under his feet. It's kind of like, uh, if you poured your driveway concrete an inch thick, it's going to look fantastic till you drive on it with your car, then it's going to break up. An inch or uh, two of loose material is not thick enough to hold a horse, so you got to find the bottom, you got to grade it off. If you look towards the pylon line, you can see that it's kind of shiny hard. Last night we used a grader and we pulled all the loose material back on the track and it's shiny hard this morning. By the end of the day, there'll be so much that has worked down, you won't see that shiny hard. And we're just constantly using the grader like a big rake, pulling the cushion back up and evenly distributed across the racetrack. What do I do if the horsemen say that the track is, is a little too hard? If it's too hard, again, ideally you'd uh, have the wherewithal to add the material. If you can't add the material, then you have to cut a cushion. And 
<clears throat> the only negative there is when you cut a cushion, whatever you're breaking loose when you're turning base, hard base, into cushion, is it's excellent right up until you get a squirt of rain, then you can't lead a horse across it. There's a, a washout on my track. Uh, how do I fix that and work that out? Depending on how deep it is, uh, most of them will will harrow out, especially on a stone dust track. Your uh, The stone dust has a tendency to heal itself. So if the depressions or washouts are only an inch deep or something, you can kind of harrow those out and they'll go away. If you wind up with something deeper, two, three, four inches, the trick is, uh, is to square up the edges. Uh, washout has a tendency to be a V and you want to square up all the edges of it fill it with either stone dust or clay, whatever your track's made out of, and then compact it and then forget about it. Water and harrow it like it isn't there. If you, uh, if you just fill a washout that is four inches deep uh, with, without cutting the edges square and making everything uniform, three inches deep, there's, uh, as you get towards the edges, or back where the washout starts, there's not enough there to knit and the harrows and the horses will tear it out. You need to cut the, cut the edges two or three, four inches deep. When I got my people out here and we're harrowing, I'm telling everybody that because this is a clay-based track, and it's the same in Lexington, when you're harrowing, you're not just out there kind of daydreaming, dragging things along. What, we're, what I'm trying to get my guys to do is look at the hoof prints. With clay, if you start to get it over wet, they'll toe in and it'll slow them down. We want to see their, their foot hit the ground, and after they're, they're not there, we'll go down and take a look at it, and if the track is perfect, you can literally see the nail heads in the, in the impression. And if you can get that done, you've really done a hell of a job.